Thierry Neuville is going to quit WRC. He announced this and the world is shocked. Why Thierry wants to quit you will soon hear here. The reason will leave you amazed so keep watching until the end. With his skillful maneuvering and unwavering determination, Thierry had become a force to be reckoned with in the World Rally Championship WRC. But little did he know that his journey was about to take an unexpected turn. It was a sunny afternoon at the Rally Monte Carlo, one of the most prestigious events in the WRC calendar. Thierry and his co-driver, Nicolas Gilsoul, were pushing their car to its limits, taking on treacherous turns and challenging terrains. Their eyes were set on victory, but fate had a different plan. As they approached a hairpin bend, the car suddenly lost control, sending them spiraling off the road. The impact was fierce, and Thierry and Nicholas were left stunned, their dreams shattered in an instant. The accident left Thierry with a broken arm and a heavy heart. Months passed, and Thierry's road to recovery seemed never-ending. He was faced with a difficult decision. Should he retire from the sport he loved or fight back against adversity? Determined to prove his resilience, Thierry chose the latter. With unwavering determination, Thierry embarked on a grueling rehabilitation program. He pushed his limits, day in and day out, refusing to let his accident define him. Slowly but surely, his broken arm healed, and his spirit grew stronger. Thierry's return to the WRC was met with skepticism. Many doubted his ability to compete at the same level as before. But Thierry silenced the doubters one by one. With each race, he showcased his sheer determination and skill, leaving spectators in awe. His comeback was a testament to the power of resilience. Thierry's accident had not only changed him physically but also mentally. He had discovered a newfound appreciation for every moment on the rally stages, cherishing the exhilarating rush that came with each turn. As the seasons passed, Thierry's name once again reverberated through the WRC circuit. He clinched victory after victory, proving that setbacks could only fuel his hunger for success. His story became an inspiration for aspiring drivers worldwide reminding them that obstacles were merely stepping stones on the path to greatness. Thierry Jean Neuville, born on June 16, 1988, is an esteemed Belgian rally driver who currently competes in the highly prestigious World Rally Championship as a member of Hyundai Motorsport. His remarkable journey in the sport began in 2007 when he skillfully maneuvered an Opel Corsa during a rally event in Luxembourg, marking his debut in the field. The following year, Neuville's exceptional talent was recognized as he emerged as the victor in the esteemed Royal Automobile Club of Belgium Rally Contest, which catalyzed his burgeoning rally career. In 2009, he showcased his remarkable skills once again by clinching the Citroën Rally Trophy Deluxe title, piloting a Citroën C2 R2 Max. It was during this period that Neuville truly established himself as a force to be reckoned with, earning widespread acclaim and accolades for his exceptional performances. The year 2010 and 2011 proved to be pivotal for his career, setting the stage for even greater achievements. In 2012, Neuville's undeniable talent and potential were acknowledged by Citroën, who signed him for the World Rally Championship that year. He competed in selected races as a part of Citroën's junior team, driving a Citroën DS3 WRC. This marked his debut in the highly competitive world of World Rally car racing. Although his journey began on a challenging note, with a crash during the season opener in Monte Carlo, Neuville's determination and resilience shone through. He achieved his first points of the season in Portugal, finishing an impressive eighth. Throughout his career, Neuville encountered both moments of triumph and setbacks, experiencing the highs and lows that come with professional motorsport. However, in 2020, he began his seventh season with Hyundai in a spectacular fashion. In an intense battle with renowned drivers such as Ogre and Evans, Neuville emerged victorious at the prestigious Monte Carlo Rally. His exceptional skills and unwavering focus were on full display as he secured a memorable win. All is going well but suddenly an unfortunate turn, turns everything ups and down. Neuville's crash ended the WRC victory shot in Croatia. Despite his commanding lead over Elfin Evans of Toyota, Thierry Neuville, the skilled driver representing Hyundai, faced an unexpected setback during the rally. Around 5.2 kilometers into a previously uncharted section for this year's competition, Neuville found himself misjudging a challenging right turn. As a result, his I-20N vehicle veered off course and collided with a solid piece of concrete. The impact inflicted significant damage to the left rear damper and upright, forcing the talented Belgian driver to retire from Saturday's racing activities. Neuville, upon reflection, acknowledged the circumstances surrounding the incident. In his pursuit to maintain his lead and engage in a gripping battle with Elfin, 
he approached the third gear right turn with a slight delay in applying the brakes as he entered the cutting. This slight miscalculation caused a loss of control at the rear of the car, leading to an unfortunate collision with the concrete obstacle. The consequences were immediate and severe, abruptly ending Newville's rally aspirations. When questioned about his satisfaction regarding the overall performance of the I-20N leading up to Stage 11, Newville acknowledged that he had previously mentioned not feeling completely confident. However, he credited his familiarity with the roads as a crucial factor that allowed him to compensate by anticipating the upcoming challenges and understanding the prevailing conditions. This knowledge undeniably provided him with a significant advantage. Nevertheless, the transition to the new stage presented fresh hurdles, reminiscent of the difficulties encountered on Friday morning, resulting in a slower start for the team. Newville was well aware of the immense stakes involved when vying for victory. The realization that even the smallest mistake can have monumental consequences was something they had to accept. Throughout the weekend, the team had nurtured the dream of claiming victory, fueled by a profound motivation to pay tribute to their late teammate, Craig Breen. While they came tantalizingly close, Newville candidly admitted that the journey in the car had been far from easy. Nonetheless, they remained resilient in their battle to maintain belief and hold on to their aspirations. Unfortunately, their hopes were prematurely extinguished. Initially, it was stated that a thorough analysis of the incident and its causes would require a review of the video footage and data. Subsequently, a comprehensive examination of the data provided him with a clear understanding of what transpired during the loss of control of his Hyundai I-20N Rally 1 and the subsequent collision with a concrete block, ultimately leading to his withdrawal from the rally. According to Newville, the root cause can be attributed to a slight delay in applying the brakes. While a difference of half a meter or a meter might have been manageable, as he entered the cut, both inside wheels locked up, resulting in the rear of the car sliding out precipitating the unfortunate event. Although a deviation of half a meter may not appear particularly consequential to the average person, it is important to acknowledge that even a relatively small variation of 50 centimeters can have a significant impact in the context of rallying. Within the realm of rallying, even the minute variation can have a profound impact on the outcome, determining whether a corner is successfully maneuvered or if retirement becomes inevitable. It entails a delicate balance of calculated estimations, aiming to engage the brakes at the optimal moment, neither too early nor too tardy. Newville eloquently conveyed that there are instances when these calculations align flawlessly, enabling drivers to navigate corners with impeccable precision. However, in this particular instance, fortune did not favor him. Newville openly acknowledged the intrinsic nature of their profession, recognizing it as an integral aspect of their craft, wherein such split-second judgments are the norm. He also acknowledged the awe-inspiring aptitude demonstrated by rally drivers who consistently select their braking points within a margin of less than half a meter, as admirably acknowledged by Colin Clark of Dirtfish. Nevertheless, Newville emphasized the stark reality that even minor missteps can yield substantial consequences, underscoring the fact that sometimes drivers manage to escape unscathed, while other times, these small errors lead to unfavorable outcomes. Thierry Newville thinks that the World Rally Championship WRC, is at a crucial juncture, requiring transformative measures to invigorate the series and sustain the existing manufacturer's participation while fostering its growth. In conclusion, safety measures in the World Rally Championship WRC, play a paramount role, forging a shield of protection around the fearless drivers, daring co-drivers, and passionate spectators. The WRC stands as a vanguard, resolute in its mission to fortify the realm of motorsport with comprehensive safety protocols that stand firm against lurking risks. With unwavering determination, the WRC enforces rigorous vehicle safety regulations, akin to mighty bulwarks of strength. From these explorations, they emerge adorned with the latest safety innovations, heralding a new era of protection. For in the world of rallying, where passion intertwines with danger, the WRC stands resolute, and resplendent in its pursuit of preserving the sanctity of life, ensuring that every heartbeat resonates with the sweet melody of security. It is crucial to prioritize the continual research and development of vehicle safety technologies. This includes the advancement of impact-absorbing materials and the implementation of enhanced driver protection systems. Additionally, substantial investments should be made in cutting-edge track design and safety infrastructure, encompassing improved safety barriers and effective spectator management. Furthermore, ongoing training and education programs must be provided to drivers, co-drivers, marshals, and safety crews to ensure their preparedness and ability to respond swiftly in emergencies. 
By steadfastly embracing these measures and upholding an unwavering commitment to safety, the WRC can continue its journey towards becoming an esteemed exemplar of excellence, where the pursuit of speed and exhilaration harmoniously coexists with the unyielding dedication to preserving human life. That's all for today. If you like this video then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will be back with more amazing videos till then take care guys.